dressing a property. I'm just going to flick through some nice, we're not going to spend any time on it because we do this a lot in the buy to sell. But isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? That was a joint venture project. That was done in the depth of the recession. So you can imagine the kind of investor wobble my JV partner had. How much was left? And the guys that have seen this picture already, have I got a little bleak? 12.99, 12.99, 12.99. B and Q, B and Q, B and Q. Apart from that, beige carpet, white walls. That's it. Now, why did I dress it like that? Because I'll show you for those that are, you know, hang on, are you ready? Are you ready, darling, to talk? <laughs> so we have, that's a 300 pound Eames chair. There's four of them. So that's 1,200 quid's worth of kitchen chairs. That's a 1950s Eames. These are Habitat. These are 1940s. I mean, you, you can't buy them. You know, th th these are the real deal that you tick off in house magazines. These are pebble dash tables here. Again, total real deal. This is 80 quid. OK, 80 quid isn't a huge amount of money for a lampshade. That's mental, right? Um, of course, I rep and, uh, but, but I just left white walls, beige carpet. But because it was in a recession, I dressed it with designer products from stop to bottom. Now, why is that important? A, I got the highest per square foot that year for a two bedroom flat, which was great. In fact, I drove past it yesterday and somebody's selling it again. And that was like six years ago. So I really don't want to know how much they're selling it for because that would annoy me. But my JV partner, when I explained why I was doing this, because I'm trying to beat the recession by show a high price ticket item, of course, I'm removing all the dressing. He makes him feel I know what I'm talking about. It really does. So all of these are things to communicate and discuss. Can you see the th communication thread all the way through? And Ian, we know about, you know, we, we're not perfect in communication. I was just about to say, um, all that stuff, who, who paid for all that lovely furniture? Me. And, and so you kept it for... Oh, yeah, it goes straight into the next one. And in fact, some of that is my personal furniture. I was going to say about some yes. of that. <laughs> if you've been to my house, you might recognise some of that kit. So this was when Ash first started working for me. That was the table he worked on. And I was working on my kitchen table and he worked on that. And that, that went out about two weeks after he joined my business. And he was like, where's my table? Mate, you're on the kitchen table with me. It's in a refurb. But that was at the point I couldn't actually afford huge amounts of furniture. But it was the right response. Um, and we talked later on about the funding. Who's going to fund the posing kit? Well, I would suggest you do, because that's one of the things you bring to the partnership. So it's an asset. It's an asset. Yes. So, and posing kit, this is why I want you to do a time and motion study on your time, because buying posing kit takes hours and days. Yeah. It really does. You know, and it's, it's like a frippery. What do you mean posing kit? There's nothing. Well, guys, add up. Not just the cost, but the amount of time and the, and the, the lack of delivery when people don't deliver. And then, um, isn't that nice? It's, it's some peppercorns <laughs> and a fruit bowl. <laughs> and that's about it. But it just looks quite sleek, doesn't it? Do you recognise that? <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, we've got lime green and purple and we're just trying to make the whole thing pop. And we've got some, there you are, some saucepans, honey, I'm home, you know. So the, the, and we've got some um, wine glasses there. So the whole suggestion is, in terms of dressing, they walk into this kitchen, which admittedly is actually very, very small. <laughs> Let's be quite frank. And can I give you the figures in this? I bought this from auction for 95,000. It is now worth uh, 190. Isn't that cool? I had the estate agent round. Um, and do you see I've got a glass table? Because the kitchen is so small, the glass table allows it to almost disappear. So no, it sounds silly, but if you talk about this to your JV partner, it's another indication to your JV partner that you know what you're doing. That it's not just an insignificant thing of putting some furniture in. You've, you've done lime green, oops, sorry. You've done lime green and purple to make it pop. You've shot the whole feeling of, yes, honey, I walk in and I'm welcome. So you're selling a lifestyle. But then you've got some very, very thin furniture, because actually the kitchen's tiny, and some glass tables. Now, I know it sounds silly, but talk about that. Show your expertise to your JV partner, because this didn't happen by magic. You know, I didn't put some big, fat farmhouse table in there, and then the buyer goes, oh, I can't actually walk in this house. No, the buyer went in and went, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, but try putting a family of four around that table, honey. That ain't going to work. <laughs> but, so I've styled it up, and I've brought my expertise to the partnership. So I don't mean you sit and show off, but I do want you to identify to your JV partner what you bring. 
and it allows them to learn as well. Explain all of your reasoning behind your furniture and your posing kit, your JV partner, because you're bringing value to them. We have nine houses worth of furniture and we, <laughs> look at Vic's face, um, they move from house to house to house to house to house. We have no storage kit and I refuse to pay for storage kit because, not that Vic's would ever get lazy, but we would get lazy. We'd start storing it. We do store it occasionally in a bath. <laughs> We, because we got a thousand pounds worth of cushions. Do you remember Colin making a sarky remark about? <laughs> I did. I did a little video about where we stored some cushions because we put them in black bin bags and they were they were piled up in a bath in a in a property. And Colin went, "Oh yeah, <laughs> buy cushions, then make a video about it. Put it in a bath." <laughs> but but um, we don't. Why? Because I want to move from one to one to one. And actually, last week on Thursday, you and I, was it Thursday we had the meeting? And we work, Vix has got, was it three projects you're dressing last week and this week? And we were one bed short and we're like, right, let's work it out. So it's literally, that goes from there to there, that goes from there to there, that goes from there to there, okay. Um, and yes, um, if I need to buy more kit, but I'd rather work it out first.